What is up, my friends? It is the day after, the night before, the night, of course, where Liverpool beat Manchester City by a goal to nil at Anfield, and the fallout from that game continues. I'm going to take you through some of the latest controversial and strange accusations labelled against Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool Football Club over the last 24 or 48 hours. And as always, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video, and of course, please do hit that subscribe button as well. Look, I thought today I'd be coming on here making a video apologising for the fact that I forgot about Alisson's amazing assist when I was giving him a player rating yesterday or talking about parts of the game that maybe I hadn't had a chance to process yet and with watching it back last night would have been able to go through it in finer detail. But I find myself sitting here today once again annoyed by the hypocrisy and by the nature of Manchester City's accusations today. So there are some articles doing the rounds. I believe the Times and the Mail and a few others have round with a story that basically says, well, it did say until it was pulled and a line of it changed, that Jurgen Klopp's comments towards Manchester City uh, and PSG were verging on xenophobic. I can't believe I'm actually uttering those words. What Jurgen Klopp meant and what we all know that Jurgen Klopp meant is there are some clubs in the world who can just spend money willy-nilly and don't have to worry about balancing the books. And somehow, those are Manchester City, fresh from their defeat at Anfield yesterday, by the way. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, have labelled these accusations at Jurgen Klopp and at the club. Now, nothing from City that I'm aware of labelling such singing by their fans about Hillsborough as disgusting and maybe there is a statement on that that I've missed certainly seen one from Liverpool condemning the chance but we'll push past that for a second we'll push past the scribbling on walls and the toilets and on doors and the toilets about Hillsborough we'll move past breaking up seats apparently and throwing them as well we'll even move past trying to break out of the away end at the end of the game and all of those other horrible horrible things that were widely reported yesterday with Manchester City's travelling fans because you know it's it's never it's always us isn't it you know what I mean it's always us that's our fault but look this from me from Manchester City just shows you another example of why I detest those that run that football club. They are a classless bunch of hypocrites. So they want to say that Jurgen Klopp's comments were bordering on xenophobic. No. And look, I can give you my opinion on this only. And that's all it is. It's just one man's opinion. But... I personally have no problem with money coming from Abu Dhabi or Qatar or Saudi Arabia or anywhere else in the world. People make their money in their own ways and that's one thing. When we speak about money coming into the Premier League, and yes, there are people and who have valid points around the uh, human rights abuses or accusations of human rights abuses and all this other stuff that's labelled at some people in particular parts of the world. Every football club are no angels. I'm aware of this. But for me, and I can only speak for me, it's not where the money comes from in the world that bugs me about what's going on with PSG and Manchester City. It's the sticking your nose up at the rules. It's the leaked documents that say they know what they're doing, but they just don't care. And they know that they're bending the rules or that they're circumventing the rules or whatever way you want to carefully make these accusations yourself. Because we all know just because you haven't been found guilty doesn't mean it doesn't stink. Manchester City and PSG, in my opinion, are classless clubs. And you know what? I actually thought Manchester City fans were better than what we've seen yesterday. I actually have defended when I speak about Manchester City and their spending and their flagrant breaking of the rules. I've always made it known that I've respected Manchester City fans from right back when they've gone through Main Road, down through the divisions, selling out, breaking attendance records. But now that's gone. Now I don't want to hear it's only a small section because it isn't. It is a very, very, very loud minor or excuse me, majority of those traveling fans that went to Anfield yesterday and acted like scumbags. And that's where we are. And Manchester City once again are crying and moaning and whinging about a visit to Anfield in which they left with their tail between their legs and a 1-0 loss. I thought the game itself was a very intriguing game. I wish I was on here today speaking about the tactical battle between the two managers, how I think Jurgen Klopp managed the game better than Pep Guardiola and how maybe Guardiola overthunk his tactics yet again. 
But unfortunately, I feel like I have to sit here now and defend our manager once again. Because what Jurgen Klopp said during the week regards to certain clubs having no budget constraints about how they spend money is absolutely true and it is what we all think deep down and it is what I bet the majority of those journalists that sit in all these press conferences and other football fans around the world think when they look at PSG and Manchester City and just because Jurgen Klopp has the nuts to say it out loud it doesn't mean that he's wrong he is saying what every single one of us deep down thinks and knows is the problem with Manchester City and PSG. Now Manchester City have once again come out and they've spoken about one of the windows on their bus being broken and I absolutely condemn that behaviour and I absolutely hope that those who threw something at the window of their bus are arrested and banned. They should have no place in the sport. I'm not defending the behaviour of our fans in any way for some of the stuff that has happened or will happen in the future. I am somebody who will call this out because I don't want it in my sport. But I have seen so many examples yesterday of Manchester City fans being absolute scummy gits. And yes, it isn't all of them. But this narrative, this line of it's a small minority is nonsense. They went to Anfield yesterday. They knew they were going to be singing those songs. And just because the game didn't go their way, they started acting like thugs. And that's not what we want in our sport. Manchester City fans, I thought you guys were better than that. I really, really did. I thought that deep down, there's a rivalry here. Yes, there's no love loss between the two clubs. Yes, there's no love loss between the two sets of supporters, I guess, as well. But ultimately, it's a game of football. And you're singing about people who were killed, illegally killed going to a football game. You're singing about their debts and you're singing and taunting their families, the supporters, the people of the great city of Liverpool who have probably all in some way, shape or another are only one or two steps removed from somebody who has unfortunately lost their life in the Hillsborough disaster. And that is a new low for me from City fans because apparently we're just supposed to accept this being sung every time a big game gets played and travelling fans come to the ground. Manchester City need to just cop on. Everybody despises you. Nobody, and I mean nobody in the world of football, celebrates or gives you any credence or any credit for the trophies that you've won because they've all been bought. We know how the club is run. Just because you haven't been found guilty yet because you can afford better lawyers than UEFA or you're finding loopholes or the statute of limitations and something has run out doesn't mean that we all don't know what you're like. So these allegations or these comments about xenophobia from Jurgen Klopp are just nonsense. How dare you try to besmirch such a great man with those lazy, half ass accusations that we all know are nonsense. He spoke about what he spoke about because you're just flagrantly breaking the rules. It has got nothing to do with where the money comes from. It has got nothing to do with a hatred of a certain race of people or religion or anything other than not playing by the rules. That's all I've got to say in it. I want to know what you guys have to say on it. And ultimately, I'm sitting here and I'm over the moon about yesterday's results because I didn't expect it. I expected City to be the better team to win the game because they have been so far this season. But today, unfortunately, here we are speaking about Manchester City being not just sore losers, but now that they're making disgusting accusations towards our manager and it's got to stop. Be better. And I hope City fans at least have the good grace to say that it's not right. Because it isn't. Singing those songs isn't right. Labelling these accusations towards a very, very good man in Jurgen Klopp who genuinely has the best interests of the sport at heart and who is a damn fine human being is disgusting. Be better.